Thank you for joining us on this exhilarating journey into the realms of physics. Subscribe now, hit that notification bell and prepare to explore the universe in ways you have never imagined. Is my car safe? This question always haunts me. The discussion is always on different opinions or pieces of advice pours over me. Then I decided to avoid the confusion by checking the NCAP rating. I have started getting confused over the definition of safety ratings. For some vehicles, driver safety ratings is good but lesser safe for co-passengers and children. All confusing. Then the mind started believing that miracle happens with accidents where some are escaping without any injury and other passengers get hurt badly. Oh, God pours miracles over me as well. Also, cars are losing weight rapidly, not sure they are on a diet. It has created a huge heavier versus lighter car discussion. There are many misconceptions about both light and heavy vehicles. This assumption is completely wrong as the car safety does not depend on the weight of the vehicle. Let's find out what these misconceptions are and figure out the facts, reveal the miracle behind safe traveling with the help of physics. The safety of a car depends on a combination of factors including its structural design, materials used, safety features and overall engineering. While it's commonly understood that vehicles made with stronger steel can offer enhanced crash protection, the concept is more nuanced than simply comparing steel to plastic. When we start discussing accidents, all people will come in the same speed. You decide on your speed, but physics decides whether you live or die. You may have heard these quotes a lot. Speed is the rate of change of position of an object in any direction. But it is not the speed that kills you, it is the rapid decrease in the speed. Referring to the concept of sudden deceleration is what causes harm or injury during a car accident rather than the initial speed itself. This concept is closely related to Newton's first law of motion often paraphrased as an object in motion tends to stay in motion. In the context of a car accident, sudden deceleration is indeed a significant factor in causing injuries to the occupants. When a car abruptly stops due to a collision, the passengers inside the car continue to move forward at the car's original speed due to their inertia. The abrupt stop causes their bodies to come into contact with the interior of the car or the other objects resulting in injuries. Sir Isaac Newton's laws of motion are fundamental principles that describe the relationship between the motion of the object and the forces acting upon it. While these laws are not explicitly formulated for the vehicle accidents, they can be applied to understand the physics behind such events. Here is how Newton's laws of motion relate to vehicle accidents. Newton's first law, the law of inertia. An object at rest tends to stay at rest and the object in motion tends to stay in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an external force. In the context of a vehicle accident, this law explains why passengers in a moving vehicle tends to continue moving forward after a collision has occurred. The sudden stop caused by the collision is the result of an external force acting on the vehicle and its occupants. Newton's second law states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force applied on it and inversely proportional to its mass. Mathematically, this is expressed as F is equal to Ma, where F is the force applied to the object, M is its mass and A is the resulting acceleration. In the vehicle accident, the second law can be used to understand how the force of impact affects the acceleration of the vehicle and its occupants. The greater the force of the collision, the more significant the acceleration experienced by the vehicle and its occupants.
Newton's third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. In other words, if object A exerts a force on object B, the object B exerts an equal and opposite force on object A. In the context of a vehicle accident, this law explains how the forces involved are distributed between the colliding vehicles. Two vehicles collide, they exert equal and opposite forces on each other. This principle helps to explain why both vehicles experience damage and deformation as a result of the collision. It's important to note that while Newton's laws provide insights into the physics of vehicle accidents, real-world accidents are complex events influenced by variety of factors including vehicle design, safety features, road conditions and human behavior. Modern vehicle safety systems and crash investigation use these principles along with other scientific and engineering principles to understand better and mitigate the consequence of accidents. Newton's laws of motion imply a deterministic view of the universe where the motion of every object is governed by precise laws and initial conditions. This perspective suggests that if we know the current state of a system and the forces acting upon it, we can predict its future of motion with absolute certainty. This notion of causality and predictability raises questions about free will and the nature of choice in a universe governed by the strict physical laws. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned with the Physics Vault to know more about the physics and how physics rules the world. Thank you very much.